Uh, first off, let me apologize for my language, Gentry. That's very out of character for me to use that type of language. <laughs> um, and so a coach texted me last night. He said, who the hell is Gentry? And I said, oh, that's Gentry Estes. I said, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't his fault. I said, it was just me being candid and honest. So um, I know that there was some – no, I know it wasn't – certainly wasn't directed at you that was that was me just explaining you know what we you know ultimate goal is and that's uh that's the most important thing that every day we come to work that we focus on uh winning and and doing more of the things that's going to help us win and less of the ones that you know affect the game in a negative way so Teresa what you got how is Will do you hope that he can practice today uh probably won't be out there today um Again, we'll have structures, practice similar to, you know, where we had, um, you know, some guys out there going with some speed and, and trying to get some special teams. We've got some moving parts there. We have some young guys that, you know, are playing special teams and that need some, some drill work, some speed work there. And we'll have the ability to do that. Um, also get the quarterbacks, um, you know, some, some live throws and some speed throws. And then, you know, we'll finish off um, – at a different pace uh, with, with some other guys that, that kind of, you know, at this point in the season, um, you know, don't, don't maybe need all that work right now. Coach, you mentioned yesterday the goal, try to finish the year the best way you can on Sunday. What are some specific things you're doing this week, maybe something different you're doing this week to try to achieve that goal? Well, I, I don't know if you, you'd start doing a whole lot of things that are different. I mean, you try to prepare, you try to put a plan in. Um, that that uh, that the players by the end of the week will will have confidence in and that have answers for for things that come up and um, what they may do in each situation, uh, whether that's first and second down, you know, third down as we work our way through today's focusing on first and second down and and knowing who they are, their personnel, and you know what what our plan is and how we can execute it, and then you work your way through the week and if things. Um, you know, you don't feel good about things, and then you, um, you know, you try to fix them by that point in time, then you probably just take it out. Um, you know, continue to, to stress the, the fundamentals, the, the details, and how critical that is uh, to, a, to a game plan. What can a pass blocker do if maybe he's outmatched a little bit on skill set or, or a lot? What can he do on determination and, and Well, certainly guts and hustle uh, can, can go a long way. Um, you know, it's like pitching. You know, I watch a lot of guys pitch. You know, Carter plays baseball. So I always try to equate uh, some of that stuff that I see, whether that's a pass rusher or a DB, a wide receiver, or in your question, an offensive lineman, is, you know, what, what different pitch can you throw? And you can't get guys out throwing 86 anymore. So you, you're going to have to, you know, be able to, to throw different pitches. And, you know, if a pass rusher, has some speed to power, uh, or they you know, use a certain move, a freeze move, a long arm, whatever that may be, you, know, you, you have to be able to, to change things up. And I think that's, that's always a way um, when, you, when you're in, you know, by knowing your opponent and knowing what they do uh, and how you can kind of, you know, whether you, you short set them, you know, flash hands, just all the different techniques that, that we talk about. How do you think you guys have done it, kind of? Well, like, none of us have none of us. You know, starting with me, you know, we can ask me how we've done. We, we, none of us uh, have done uh, well enough uh, throughout the season, and that's why we continue to practice and continue to work. Um, you know, I think sometimes in the game, you know, you, you practice and you have to be able to see that in live reps and uh, have that translate. That's why that's so critical um, to, to having those – small victories and improvement that we talked about yesterday and developing uh, players and developing uh, units. It's, it's, a, it's a much different pace um, in, in practice. It's a different player doing it in practice that you're going against. So, you know, you have to be able to do some of those things. Um, that has to translate to the game. And, and once you can do that, then you can start to understand, okay, this is – you know, how I have to approach it. This is the technique I need to use. This is the change up off of that. How do you see, talking about just for, with the 
change ups? Are they something that you give the guys a roadmap for? Of if they do this, you do that, or is it kind of up to the individual? No, I mean that that's what we do every day is trying to find answers and, and put yourself in a position of uh, you know coaching. Uh, put yourself in how if I had to do that job, how would I go about doing it? Um, you know, there's some jobs out there that I that I haven't done personally, and a lot of the coaches haven't either. That's not to say that you know, they don't know, but you study and you watch and you you know you have to be able to say, okay, if this is what they're doing, here here are answers, here are tools in a, in a toolbox. Um, you know, great resources is guys around the league. You know, guys around the league. That's why we we try to comb through, you know, all that tape uh, between you know Stretch and I to try to find examples um, of those. You know, just to validate the things that that we're talking about or that were you know maybe they're new ideas. What have you seen from Otis Reese and his little trial at inside linebacker here lately? Yeah, um, see some speed, see some violence, and you know improvement, and so. Um, and I know, you know, we talked about the play, you know, and tracking it the other day. And he, you know, he was much, you know, very active in, in the plays and the snaps that he had. And, um, you know, hopefully continue to, to add to that and make sure that he's, um, you know, improving on special teams, too. That's a, it's a critical role for him. And but I would say that uh, Otis's attitude, his willingness and, um, you know, certainly his, his effort has been been good. You got an extended work, I guess, from Kayvon Wallace too recently. How, how's he kind of fit in yeah. to the defense? Good, we've and seen? he, you know, he wanted to uh, really worked hard to get back last week. You know, after missing the week, and um, you know, I, you know, we got Kayvon in, in towards the back half of the season. He came in, studied hard, and you know, took advantage of his opportunity. You know, talked about the play that he made just on sheer effort. Uh, in Miami that, that led to, you know, us stopping them short of the goal line and then them turning the ball over on the very next play. So um, saw that last week against um, Dallas and Miami as well. You know, Miami made a great stop and the ball was almost over the goal line. And that's why we talk about every inch matters. Uh, and Dallas turned the ball over the very next play. So that was something that Kayvon that stood out for me and, and he'll have to, you know, just continue to progress and work. but. You know, I've liked you know the way that he's come in and taken advantage of his opportunity and, and played for us. Like when when quarterbacks get pressured or hit, like like you guys have had a lot this year, do you see it? You know, a level of expectation coming in for quarterbacks to to almost expect to be pressured, and, and does that affect them if that is the case? Um, I mean, I think playing the the position, I would imagine you know, there's got to be a level of. Um, you know, understanding, you know, I mean, you have to have some some courage to be able to, to sit into the pocket. You also have to be, you know, able to slide away and do their part. Sometimes there's, you know, nothing that they can, you know, reasonably do. Um, but then there's also times where, you know, guys, you know, quarterbacks can, can help some of that, just like in a running game. You know, there's times where you can't block them all and guys make people miss or break tackles and, you know that that's that's how it goes, and that's what it looks like. You know, and sometimes you get them blocked, and they're untouched for eight or ten yards, and that's great too. You think Harold's the same guy Harold was before the ACL? Now, uh, I, I just really like where Harold's at, just from a you know maturity and his you know consistency, his daily approach. You know, so plays extremely hard. He does a lot of different things for us. You know, I don't. I think that he's, you know, he's really factored, and I think starting to feel better, cutting it loose, and uh, you know, happy for whatever you know, personal success that he has, or you know, making a bunch of plays and helping us out. The patience you have to show, waiting, like knowing it's probably going to get back to normal, but, but there's got to be some doubt, like while you're waiting. Well, I think that would be for the individual. You know, I, I don't, you know, I, I never had a, you know, a knee surgery or an ACL. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're always, you're always, you know, coaching and, and, and talking through and, you know, showing them that, that you, you can, like, here's this movement, um, you know, 
and so I think that he's, you know, like I said, just been able to, to cut it loose and get going. And again, you know, him and Crow have worked extremely hard and you see him always working and, you know, focusing on things and having different uh, change ups that he can use to, uh, to help him do his job. Mike, you mentioned, um, sorry. That's okay. Mike, Mike you mentioned. He just was a little <laughs> louder than this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got to get it in. Um, Mike, you mentioned a couple of weeks ago about not relishing it being a spoiler. What does that mean to you and how do you relate that to your team? Well, no, I mean, we just, we, we want to finish strong. You know, we can, we can finish this thing the right way. You know, we can finish it, um, you know, with a lot of class and, and we can also, you know, get, get a huge win and, and also, you know, potentially, you know, I, I think it would just be critical to get a home win here to finish the season in the division against a team that, you know, kept us from the playoffs last year. Last year. So that that's what we're, we're trying to do. Our guys are trying to get ready, starting that process here this morning, you know, and that'll carry all the way up until uh, the game. These last few games of the season have been a lot about getting some of these younger guys this trial period, giving them opportunities in games. What does Kyle Phillips need to do to be one of those guys getting that opportunity, or is there something he can do at this point? Um. Yeah, I mean, uh, you only have so much room for, you know, you can look at the reasons why Kyle wasn't. Kyle, you know, you got so many room, only so many room for a slot receiver that doesn't catch punts. And that's where we went to. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that, that Kyle will be in there this week and will help us. But, you know, that's just once you start looking at, the job that they do on game day and, you know, how many snaps, you know, Kyle hasn't done anything, you know, from a receiver, you know, I mean, he helped us in the two minute and, you know, third down, it's just how, how each week, how do you get the, the guys that, you know, you need to cover kicks and punts. And you know, I mean, if we kick touchbacks every time, me and all of us could cover the kickoff and we, well, we, we, we don't. So we have to have guys that we feel like can cover the kick and, that's, that's what it is. You've kept six some weeks in the past and five other weeks. Is that matchup based, kind of whether or not you have that sixth receiver up? Well, it was when, when Colton was, you know, at times, you know, bit, bit, turned himself into a, you know, a above average. I'm not going to say great, but a good. I mean, he was starting gunner for us, you know, made some plays in that regard. So those are things that you factor in. Um, how many guys are you going to take for special teams, and how many? You know, what role is a guy going to have um, on offense or defense? How, how many positions? You know, where do you feel like there's a backup? Of, you know, you got a pair and a spare, and if this guy goes down, then who's the next person in the game? Where do you move this guy? Um, those are all just things that factor factor into it. I want to clarify too? You said there briefly he hasn't done anything. From the I meant, neg- I meant negatively. negatively. It wasn't. You know, I mean, it was just we we changed punt returners, and so when when that happened, you know, then those are part of the decisions of who's going to the game. But my point is, is when Kyle Kyle played and you know did did a nice job on you know two minute and the quarterback found him and made some good catches for us and, um, you know, based on different personnels and and what we're asking those guys to do. Nick Westbrook was just doing some of those jobs and, um, you know, 11 personnel, just different reasons as we come, you know, so hopeful that, you know, Kyle will get get another opportunity to, to, to help us this week. Traylon Burks and just the continued development of him. How hard is it, Coach, you played the game, to continue that momentum of your own game if you are not on the field? Like, how much does that actually play into it in terms of building game after game? Um, and obviously, he's not been able to do that. Well, he has the last couple weeks, you know. So, again, those are that's all we can focus on is we're hopeful to have him, have him this week and continue to, to help us and, you know, confident that, you know, the play that he didn't come down with last week that he'll come down with uh, this week and hopefully more. Um, you know, I think just consistency. You know, you see him going there and make a, a really nice block on a safety and we gain a bunch of yards and then 
you know, the safety's not going to just stand in there and let him let him hit him. So he kind of spins and misses him, and you know, so he's in the hole. So, but I think to your question, I think it is very important to be able to string those chances together. It's very hard at this point in the season you know, to to replicate a whole lot of speed and that some of that stuff. And so, you know, the game action is is critical, and then the game within the game, how do you respond? You know, what are they doing? What what are the adjustments? Um, what do you have to do better the next series? Or if you get the same look, you know, not making the same mistake twice or having an idea of our coverage and, and all those different things. Mike, there's been a lot of, I guess, stuff on social media, reports from outside that say, you know, talk about your relationship with Rand, your, uh, you know, perceived unhappiness or whatever here. Do you have to address those types of things with the players? Because most guys, most players are on social media and whatnot today. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I don't. I don't because, again, if we believed everything that was on social media, you know, we it'd be Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and there's no Tooth Fairy and all that. So um, I, I, I really um, – have never responded to any of those and we're not going to start now uh, I, I i know where we're at as a as an organization i'm excited to um to to build this thing and to fix this thing and and and, and get it uh to where we want it to be to, to win championships with with ran and chad and a rob and a coaching staff and and everybody i mean that's that's what our goal is so um but but no the the social media and and where that is and I I, I can't focus on that. So you want to be here last year? Of course I want to be here. Be here as long as we can win, and long as we can, you know, do this thing. And it's uh, it's been great. But it also has been you know, just just frustrating this year. And nobody nobody wants to be where we're at. Um, you know you feel, you know, for the players. You know, having been in that situation, those guys are out there selling out, and uh, yeah, you, know, you feel for them when you look out there on the field. And we're not, you know, we're not winning, or you know, it's it's pretty obvious. But you know, the one thing that you know allows me to to, to at least sleep at night is you, you know when when the games, you know, we had a, we had a clunker in Jacksonville and in Houston, and we're out there, you know, fighting. Not not letting them run run through us, you know, for 40, 50 yards and and all that. And I know that there again, there's there's no moral victories, and that's not a moral victory. But it's just it's a lot of times in those situations, uh, you can just pack it up and pack it in, and you know. So that's uh, you know that was last week. You know, this week we have to be in a different situation. You know, talked about the ability to to put ourselves in that competitive situation. You know, where the game has some flow to it and. Um, you know, you make a play, you get a turnover, right? You, you pin them down and, and you start playing complimentary. So talk to the team again, you know, about that and about eliminating, you know, some of the mistakes, um, you know, that are just, you know, that come at critical times and that, you know, make it, make it tough to overcome. Watch hockey before? I grew up around hockey. I never played it necessarily. I mean, I okay. played ho pond hockey growing up and everything, but our high school team was always good, so I remember going to their games, but love the sport. Need to get back to more games. So now you're officially a Preds fan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd say I'm definitely still a Bruins fan at heart, but that's definitely my, my number two right now. See if it can sneak up into 1A. Helps that they're in separate conferences, right? For sure, yeah. Well, how's the foot doing? And, uh, you know, it, frustrating to be dealing with uh, injuries now on, on separate feet? Yeah, it's frustrating. It's annoying. Uh, it's probably the word I'd use to describe it, uh, just annoying. And um, just trying to do whatever I can to keep the right mindset and do what I can to get get ready and get healthy. Um, but, you know, it's nothing too serious, so it's nothing to be too worried about. Did you know which way to limp? Sometimes, you know, it's hard to tell, but um, it's evened out, I'd say. So I'm not limping around too much, so I feel pretty good. This injury, you have to rehab or just stay off of it, or what's maybe the best way to No, there's a bunch of rehab stuff that I'm able to do. Both I got the ankle and the foot, so they're, they're different, obviously. But... Um, you know, they're the experts. I'm just listening and doing what they're telling me to do. You just get stepped on? Is that, is that how this would happen? Or yeah, there, I mean, there's some other things that were going on, but uh, that's pretty much what sparked what, what's going on with it now. You saw you test with it a bunch before you went back to the locker room. Just what is the feeling? Is it similar to a sprain or is it a bruise? Is it just how do you describe what this feels like? 
Uh, it's just pain. Um, yeah, I mean, I could get into the specifics of it, but I don't think it's really necessary. Um, but, you know, it's just pain with stepping and pushing off. Again, similar to the pain that I had in the ankle or just, you know, if anyone's had anything with their feet, it's just annoying. Would it mean a lot to you to, to get in for this last game? Yeah, I mean, it means a lot. We want to win, and I want to win. And I want to have, you know, good feelings going into, into next year. So it means a lot. Uh, we wanted to obviously get these last couple. But, I mean, all we can do right now is focus on this one and playing spoil and make, feeling better about ourselves, you know, gives us the motivation that we need to win this game. Did you learn anything at Kentucky last year in terms of, I know you played through all kinds of stuff last season too. Anything like that in terms of how you're taking care of yourself to do this? I think it's just, if anything, how to keep your mental intact and just how to just keep pushing. and. You know, it's easy to roll over and be like, woe is me, and, you know, this this hurts, and it's easy to shut it down. But those are when, you know, you got to understand the type of person you have to be to, to fight through those types of things um, and just control what you can control. So I, I think I had some situations like that last year that definitely toughened that side of me. So, um, you know, still trying to get better there, but I think it definitely prepared me a little bit. You got on the house slippers. Is it, are you, does it hurt to wear shoes? No, I mean, these are comfy, so I mean, <laughs> just every day. Yeah, this is a uh, slide out of bed every morning, put on the sweatsuit and the slides. That's pretty much my routine. When, when you've been sacked, obviously, a number of times, you see your pressure a lot of times. And, and can that impact a quarterback in terms of after it happens a lot, like almost expecting it to, to come? Yeah, sometimes, like, I think your, your internal clock can speed up a little bit. And when, when the pressure is getting to you in a game, you might know that it might not be the best idea to get back to your third or fourth read where you might just need to kind of take take the shorter one and, and even though you might be missing um, one that might be open, but it, it, it's playing the game of, of doing that, but also just trusting what you feel. And when you do have time, understanding when you need to take advantage of it because that's when those big opportunities come. So, you know, um, it's a little bit of both, but you got to just play the game, you know, how you're supposed to play regardless of what's going on around you. Speaking of those, speaking of those third and fourth reads, how well do you feel like you've done as far as improving, you know, being able to survey the defense and pick what's there when the first or second guy's not open? Yeah, I mean, I think I've done a decent job. Definitely got to get better. Like, just even as recently as this past game, like, um, the first third down that we missed where it almost got picked off, like, I felt like what I'd seen didn't really match up with what actually happened, you know, where I, where I had an opportunity to throw a ball on time to a ball I knew I could could throw to trail in on the outbreaker there where I thought we could just get the first by taking the check down. But um, that's not necessarily third or fourth read, but that's just an example of me not necessarily seeing and feeling um, and executing in that sort of situation. Those things you can only learn by doing, really? No, I mean, you try to you try to get better and, and watch and learn from that. But um, I think getting out there and getting a rep of doing it the right way definitely gives you more confidence and uh, makes it easier to do the next time when it happens at least. You talk, kind of talked about the annoying of, of having to deal with some of this stuff. You, if you don't play, I mean, you feel like you have done a lot of things this year in your rookie season that make you feel good about things moving yeah. forward? Yeah, no, I definitely um, – there's some there's some good stuff all over the tape, I think. But um, you got to look at the good and the bad and, and understand how much better the good can get and how we can change the good to become bad. So. I think that there's good examples across the tape of our whole offense and our ability to execute, but just the inconsistency of it, um, you know, for myself included, obviously, uh, has just been annoying. So, you know, we got to make sure that we just have that sense of, you know, completion or just putting it all together this offseason and being able to, you know, get off on the right foot next year. How frustrating and maybe annoying is it that you guys haven't been able to get an AFC South win? It's one thing to go into the season with a win, but especially maybe one that matters so much in terms of just the division. Yeah, no, I mean, these these games mean a lot. And we, I feel like every game, division game we've played, those have been our most physical games. And um, we, we like to have the mentality and we like to think that we're the type of teams that thrive in those environments and, you know, just haven't come together for us this year, which is frustrating. Um, but they're important games, obviously. Um, we need to get at least one. So, I mean, hopefully we can get this one here this last weekend. How quickly have you developed, I guess, a sense of rivalry within the division? Like, fans here don't like their division opponents, players who have played here a while. But as a rookie, how quickly do you realize it means more when it's Jacksonville, Indy, or Houston on the other side? Yeah, no, I think you get there. I, mean, I don't really, like, see or, like, see what the discord on, you know, social or whatever, like, how the fans interact in that way. But you, you, you know when you get there. Like, you know when you get to the stadium. Um, 
you know, I'd say maybe fans are a little nicer than in college, but like it's it's there's still there's still that sense of you know you know inclusion with their fan base and and how much they they really care and where their hearts are connected with their team. So I mean that's just what makes sports great. I embrace that. I think we all love that and we all like when there's that uptick of energy uh, when those situations come into play. Is there an opposing fan base in particular in college that was unkind? Uh, I think I mean SEC especially like everyone is very very deep rooted in their faith with their team so it, if you're not with them you're against them but no there's there's definitely some teams that had um you know I'd say stronger words or stronger opinions um I know you guys are wanting me to say one but uh but uh but yeah I can't really say anything about them because they got the best of me my two years there but uh yeah, no, that's what's great about sports, and, and, and I love that. I, I embrace it for sure. Have you had some people, have you, have you encountered some people during your time here that maybe admitted that they didn't like you before, that maybe have grown to like you here? Uh, yeah, or even people that still don't like me. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it, you got to respect it. If someone, you know, if you're, if you're a Vol fan and you don't like me simply because you're a Vol fan, like, you better stay on that hill, you know. You don't, you don't, don't change, don't switch up now. But uh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm opening all fans of us or of the Titans with open arms, and uh, you know, hopefully, at least since I got drafted, maybe I've been able to change some people's opinions. Unusual world to, to think that possibly this is the last game as Titans for both Ryan and, and Derek this week. Not certain, but, but you know, yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's, I can't, I can't wonder like you know what's going through their minds and um, the decisions or everything that going to happen in the off season you know I'm obviously I'm not making those decisions but having to sit back and even just experience some of it throughout the season with the people that we've added and the guys that we've had to let go um it's eye opening as a rookie to see that and just how constant the change is at this level um and there's obviously going to be a, some turnover this year in this off season and uh if it includes guys like that you know that's 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 crazy to think about uh for our team and for our fan base but you know it's part of the game um and uh all they can do is go out there and just play their hearts out